So, uh, seeing or what inspired you to become a teacher? Well, I've always had a passion for education and helping kids learn. It's rewarding to see them succeed. That's great. What's your favorite subject to teach? I love teaching math. It can be challenging, but seeing my students understand complex concepts is fulfilling. Interesting. I never thought of math as something that could be enjoyable. It can be, and I try to make it fun and engaging for my students. That's good to hear. I might have to try some of your methods in my own classes. Bummer. I burnt the chichamarada again. Why do I always mess this up? I need to find a solution. Ah, this is so frustrating. Skinner throws the burnt chichamarada away and starts again. I won't let this ruin my day. I'll make a perfect batch of chichamarada, even if it kills me. Skinner tries again and finally manages to make the perfect batch of chichamarada. Yes! Take that burnt chichamarada! I've got you beat. Skinner celebrates his victory and moves on with his day. So I've got an idea. Looking out the window, Skinner sees a shop that sells Chinese steamed eggs. He remembers his plan to replace the burnt chicha morada and decides to buy some of these eggs as a substitute. I'm going to climb out the window and get some of those Chinese steamed eggs. That'll be a great replacement for the burnt chicha morada. As he prepares to climb out the window, Skinner thinks about how he can make this substitution work. Uh, he talks to himself about the different ways he can use these eggs in his dish and how they might taste. Well, I need to figure out how to use these eggs in my recipe. Maybe I can mix them with the burnt chicha morada or use them as a topping. Um, let's see. Finally, Skinner climbs back in through the window with the Chinese steamed eggs and starts preparing his new dish. Hey, Skinner, what are you making in the kitchen? Just trying out a new recipe for chicha morada. That sounds interesting. Where did you learn about it? I picked it up during my travels in South America. It's a traditional drink in Peru. Hey, Skinner, is that smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, I think I might have overcooked it a bit. No worries. Accidents happen. <sighs> Can I try some of this chichamarada while you fix it? Of course. Go ahead. So, speaking of travels, Chalmers, what's the most interesting place you've ever been to? Um, that's a tough one. I really enjoyed my trip to China, especially the Chinese steamed eggs I had in Shanghai. Oh, yeah, I've heard of those. Yeah, they're pretty unique. Definitely. It was such an amazing experience trying them for the first time. This isn't what I ordered, Skinner. I specifically asked for steamed chicha morada. I'm sorry, Chalmers. You must have misunderstood me. Uh, this is steamed chicha morada. I don't think so, Skinner. Uh, this doesn't look right to me. Trust me, Chalmers. It's still steamed chicha morada. You just don't know the regional dialect here? I don't think that's true, Skinner. I want what I ordered. Fire. What's going on here? And it's just hauntings. Don't worry about it. It's in hauntings in the kitchen. That doesn't make any sense. I know what I saw, and it was definitely haunting.
You don't want to be accused of being a witch, do you? Save it, Skinner. I'm not buying your excuses. The house is still on fire. I know, I know. But we can't let everyone know about it, right? They'll think we're witches or something. You really are something, Skinner. Ah, have a good day. Goodbye, Chalmers. Hey, take care. Goodbye, Skinner. Hey, see you around.